this thing figured out. Hey folks, it is time for another live stream. I gotta look into the lens here. Doing a live stream in a hotel room. Yes, different, well, different. Is it gonna be a drinking video or an unboxing video? Well, it's gonna be an unboxing video. Picked this up uh, on Saturday in Halifax and then unfortunately I had to last minute fly out to work here in Calgary. So I brought it with me just so that I can get it out of the box which is the Garmin E-Trex 22X. This is the updated version of the very popular E-Trex 20 uh, series, which I had to look back in my archive. And uh, those videos I did for the E-Trex 20 was, is a seven years old. So it's always been a very good uh, handheld device. Lots of people have been using it. And the fact that they that model recently just got an update after seven years proves that you know it's a, it's a pretty good form factor i also have with me my 66 st so that i can just do a quick compare with that so out of the box why did i not get the e-trex 32x uh, basically in terms of functionality it is identical there's really just one thing that is probably worth the extra cost, which is the uh, three axis compass or the barometer, so for the ABC sensors. So this one doesn't have the electronic compass, so this will operate uh, like old school GPSs. You have to start moving for the compass arrow to start uh, moving. So, and there was one other feature, there was something about custom maps. Hey Mustang. And uh, yeah, there was one thing with custom maps, but you can still put maps on here. So there's something with the maps that wasn't quite clear to me what it meant. Does, is it worth the extra cost to go up to 32X? Probably not. I think, you know, if you wanted to uh, just get the 22, you, you're probably good enough. So let me open this up. And um, as I uh, take it out, like I said, I did not even open it since when I got it. I just threw it in the luggage. So some of the specs. So... Battery life, 25 hours, big selling point, uh, which is why uh, these handhelds are still very good. Uh, you get your screen 2.2 inches on the diagonal. Uh, we'll compare with the uh, 66 there. Uh, what else we've got here? We got the uh, weight, 141 grams, very light. Of course, you get the IPX7, uh, which I forget what it means. Uh, I believe the 66 has a higher rating. So it has multi-GPS support, so it has the Galileo, Wilsonas, and the, the North American one. And what? Preloaded with Topo Maps. Uh -huh. And uh, it's routing mapping capable. So that means that you can do turn-by-turn -turn navigation uh, if you have the right maps on it. That's always the kicker for some people. So, yeah, it's the only thing, so I'm... Uh, yeah, it does. Includes preloaded topo mapping with rollable roads and trails. Well, I am very curious to see what's in this one. Package. We have the manual, which is why I do these videos, because a lot of people don't read it. But uh, besides, the web version probably has some updates. Get your standard. Uh, you, oh, this is using the old school USB cable, not the micro, just the regular... Uh, mini USB cable. That's interesting because on the 66 they switched it over to the uh, micro. Ooh, interesting. So now I got to carry two cables, right? Uh, well, it's uh, no batteries in this. Here's the unit. There we go. IPX7 means that the device is protected against immersion in water, depth of one meter for 30 minutes, and no protection against dark particles. There you go. Thank you, Mustang 77, or Bluefin. Always get that confused. So here it is, nice and small. Plastic is still on. It has a nice little blue, navy blue uh, kind of feel to it. Hey, Eduardo. And uh, get your standard uh, stuff here. So looks just like the last one. Get your little joystick here in the upper corner. Got your, uh, up, got your buttons here on one side, get the other buttons on the other side. Got your charging port right up here. Well, uh, it's true they did not update this <laughs> clamshell at all. Oh, here we go. Just got your old 
And that's actually kind of surprising, which means, you know, surprised they didn't put the updated USB cable to match with the everybody else. All right, well, let's do the first thing, which is to, uh, actually, let's just size it up side, side by side. <clears throat> I got the MAP66, so you can see. Let me get my fingers out of the way here. All right, you can see the two by two inch display, how it compares to the MAP66, all right? In terms of thickness and stuff, right? All right, it's a smaller GPS, right? Basic functions, all right? If you wanted the electronic compass and stuff. All right, so inside, get your battery, get your SD card so you can load up more maps. So like I said, the, um, the difference between that and the 30, 32X, I don't know, unless you really need that compass, but then again, if you're gonna pay that extra money for the 30, 2x, why not get the 66? Which, if you need that, if you need those extra sensors, uh, you may want the bigger screen and all those other advantages too. All right, let me just try to find out the orientation of these freaking batteries. All right, plus like that and like that. I'm just using regular batteries. Oops. There we go. Twist it tight. There we go. And power button. This one right here. So let's do a quick side by side to see which one starts up faster. There we go. So let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see how quick this thing kind of boots up. And I just did a firmware refresh on the 66 there before I left. So let's see. I found the 66 takes a long time to boot up. I don't have extra maps or anything. It's just out of the box stuff. All right, so here we go at our wizard. And the 66 still starts up. I'll probably do another startup a little bit later, but here we go. All right, I should probably well, put this by the window, get a new location. So we're going to go through the standard wizard. Every time you do a reset, you get to go through the wizard language, units, time, that kind of stuff. So we're going to pick English, so just use your joystick, go up and down, all right? They haven't changed and pressed to make your selection. And uh, we'll just confirm English. And there you go. Simple as that, eh? This has not changed at all, even by looking at the screen. Wow, look at that. So you got your map, your word too. What was that, mark waypoint, compass, setup trip computer, project waypoint, waypoint manager, geocaches, look at that, eh? Is that trip manager? Route planner, photo viewer, profiles, what's this one here? Track manager, oh, they're all the same. Active route, calendar, sun and moon, what's the other one? Area calculation, hunt and fish, <laughs> calculator, there you go, hunt a fish, calendar, calculator, stopwatch, alarm clock, waypoint averaging, was this man overboard, satellite page, what's the other page here, proximity alarms, man, they still have that feature, eh? Adventures, now this is really interesting, they have adventures on here, because I don't know if you noticed last little while, um, last year, year and a half, they uh, sunset the Garmin Adventures thing. So I really, they took about a base camp, like you can't even find it anymore. So I am really surprised they put that in there. I'll, I'll go in here, future videos to check it out. And yes, comment from uh, Bluefin. Yeah, this looks, this is the exact same as the Etrex 20 that was out, uh, that came out like seven, eight years ago. And they just changed the color but they didn't even bother changing the uh, the USB port, right? Other than that, to me, it looks just the same. Let me get to the uh, map page. Let me get to the map page. Yeah, if you have the 20, uh, this is be the 22X, so the chip uh, for the redraw should be a little bit faster. Uh, I don't think the capacity for waypoints and tracks, I don't think that changed, but 
All right, let's uh, take a look at the map. So, of course, has us in Kansas. So let's. Uh, There we go. Has maps preloaded. Of course, if you're in the States, quality of the maps, pretty good. Look at that. Oh, geez, that looks pretty good, eh? Not bad. Now let me do a, if I do this, this button, I believe, there we go. Let's do, let's do a search. Let's do a where to, where my current location is. And uh, let's see, let me do, I'll do cities. Uh, well, could be a little slow the first time I'm doing this or it's calculating. All right, so I'm gonna find, uh, mm. I'm a few kilometers away, so let me try to find, let me do, uh, went back and did addresses. I'm gonna do addresses instead. Here we go. Enter state or province. Let me just do my current location. Uh, province, I am in the province of Alberta this week. All right, enter that. I mean, this is this is this. If you've used the twenty, or even some of the older generation uh, garments, right? I mean, this is like, all right, now what? Hmm. Anyway, what is the state? Did not did I type did I type in Alberta wrong? I don't know. I don't have time for this. <laughs> All right, go back, go back, Jim. Let's go back. See if I can find cities. All I want to do is check the quality of the map in Canada. Uh, states, Garmin preloaded maps are, are good. Uh, let me just simply uh, <laughs> go on the map, zoom out. Oh. There we go. Whew. Having difficulty tonight, folks. So all I want to do here is... We think about the refresh rate, eh? I know I'm in the big city here of Olaf, Texas, Kansas here, but it's pretty interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't have a, yeah, especially the first time I turned it on here, reception won't be uh, very good. But let me just scroll, let me scroll to 2,000 miles north from uh, Kansas. And uh, let's see here. There we go. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's zoom in. So I just want to see the quality. And let's go into downtown Calgary. <clears throat> I think it's Calgary. I think it's downtown Calgary. Let it redraw. Oh, here we go. Oh, a little bit of topo. See some topo lines here. Oh, here we go. A little bit slow on the redraw. Hmm. Well, that's not bad. Seem to have a lot of stuff in there. Cool. All right. So, uh, of course, I'm having issues in the hotel room. Can't find satellites, so I'll tell it no. And uh, let me just, uh, 
what I'll do here, I just wanted to confirm the, um, the map redraw refresh rate. That's kind of what I want to do. So I'm going to zoom out where I am here. And I'm just going to uh, go west <laughs> on this GPS. I will scroll, scroll, scroll uh, 4,000 kilometers. Auto pause. All right, so there's Calgary, all right. Is it me? Is there more uh, detail on this map on the 66 than on the Atrex 20? All right, so there you go. All right, pretty interesting. So obviously the refresh looks appears to be a little bit faster, but I'll have to check the detail on the map here. It just seems like there was more stuff when I was zooming in on the levels. But anyway, so that's basically all I wanted to do. So uh, do tonight here. So just to get out of the box, I'll uh, do some uh, some initial videos here this week to get the series going. Uh, but yeah, Etrex 22X. Um, if you were, I don't know. I don't know if you have the current 20, 20X. I don't know if you want to upgrade or not. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the features, and I don't, I don't expect things to be, I don't expect it to be that much different. But I mean, there it is. Uh, setup looks super easy. I mean, the fact that this menu here, there's nothing new, right? So I'm just gonna go into the setup. All right, I'll cover go through this. Tones, display, map doesn't sound like. Position format. I mean, it looks exactly the same. I'm sure there's gonna there's a firmware update for this already, so we'll cover that. One of the things um, I'll try to do here is with the uh, Garmin Explore. See if this is Garmin Explore app compatible. I don't think it is. Maybe, maybe not. So that's the other app. That's the lightweight EarthMate app if you're the InReach user. But they've kind of been transitioning over to that. So we'll give this a try. So. Anyway, I'll uh, do some uploads here, see how this goes, and try to do some more side-by-sides with the GPS uh, 66, but anyway, that's the difference with that. So this was 279 Canadian, and then when I bought this last year, this was 700 something. Yeah, so big price difference. So, and the only really, only big thing about this is you get all sorts of sensors, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, the bigger display, of course, uh, what else? Compass, barometer, all that stuff. This one, bare bones, right? Just a GPS. That's about it, right? All right, folks, uh, put down in the comments what you think. I'll be interesting to, to see, uh, uh, about the upload topics and, uh, just start uploading, uh, some, uh, usual topics here or tutorials on some of the topics. All right, that's it, folks. We'll talk to you guys uh, next time. Thanks, Bluefin, for watching all the way in Newfoundland. And Eduardo, too, who watched uh, for a little bit. All right, thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you guys later.